Hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Aries, as I was kind of shuffling the cards and really kind of trying to tap into like the Aries energy of what's going on here, um, I kept getting like a lot of movement. Like, I don't know if you guys are just moving forward. You're just like something's coming in quick for you. Like, I don't know what it is to be sure, but it just feels like movement. But it does feel like something's coming in quick or okay and then we have the wheel of fortune um but yeah it definitely feels like something is really kind of taken off the ground something is coming in that you've been waiting for or maybe you've just been stuck and stagnant but again i keep getting movement for you aries all right so with that have being said <laughs> um welcome everybody thank you all for stopping by this is your weekly reading um and also keep in mind this is a general reading so not everything that you know is going to resonate with you and that's okay just take what does and leave the rest behind all right so we have the will of fortune we have the queen of swords we have the nine of wands we have the six of swords bottom of the deck we have that three of swords all right so we're just going to set that there <sighs> okay all right so Aries it does feel like you're getting past the situation um, it really does feel like there is movement it does feel like you are ooh okay so it does it feels like either there's heartbreak coming in um, or some what keeps drawing me is these cards Okay, this is the before tarot. So this particular three of swords here, um, it has not yet pierced the heart, okay? So there's not yet pain involved, okay? With this nine of wands, you know, you can see that little guy kind of peeking in, not looking so friendly, but looking kind of hungry. And, uh, you know, so he's just kind of like, he's ready to fight, you know, to protect himself here. Hmm. And that's kind of what I feel like for you, Aries. It just kind of feels like you know, like something's not right here. You can kind of just sense like something's coming in or um, as far as like, you know, maybe the relationship just isn't for you anymore. It does feel like, you know, you have put up a fight. Like you've, you know, tried to kind of protect yourself, but it just feels like you're not getting anywhere in a certain situation. It just feels like you are really guarded. It feels like, you know, you're just kind of exhausted too. I keep getting very exhausted. Like somebody's just kind of done with the situation. Um, it feels like you've been, you know, kind of going through this for quite some time here, but with the will of fortune and the queen of swords being present, it's like you're stepping into your power, you know, see how she's being handed her crown and I'm referring to the picture you know because we all have feminine and masculine energy um, so this can be you know male or female but it's like you are definitely stepping into your power you're accepting that crown and you know you're accepting that you know yeah I can you know cut things out that are not no longer serving me you know I can set up boundaries especially if this is something that is like you know doing no good this is something that's just kind of holding me back it's not really giving me any room to kind of grow as a person you know within this situation it's just kind of done it feels over um, with the will of fortune like I said I do see you going towards better things I do see luck being on your sign on your side um, I'll Although I did say sign because I was thinking that you might possibly, somebody could be getting some signs here. Um, I keep getting like a lot of dreams. Or it's almost like you, you're you like reading something, like some kind of message. Like this could be, you know, in a text or um, you read something and it just kind of really catches your attention. Um, but I keep getting that somebody's getting some signs. So, all right. And then the six of swords here. So I don't know if you can see that. So the Six of Swords, see that little star kind of hanging out over here? It just feels like you are on your way towards, again, something better, especially with this Wheel of Fortune being here. It feels like you're headed towards something good. It feels like you're headed towards, um, you know, possibly, you know, some kind of wish fulfillment. Um, definitely feels like you're headed towards some kind of healing. Um, it does feel like, you know, maybe, like I said, your heart's just not in a situation. You just want to... 
It's just like, you know, I'm protecting it as much as I can, but I just know the situation isn't for me anymore. It just feels like you want to put something behind you and you're ready to just move forward. Like I said, it really kind of feels like you know your worth. It's like you're going through a lot of things and you're really kind of figuring a lot out about yourself, about this situation. And it's just like, you're not here for it. You want something different. And like I said, you want to move towards um, some kind of goal that you have or some kind of wish fulfillment, but it does feel like you are moving on. And it feels like you're taking those steps, you know, to do so here. All right, let's clarify. Okay. So for the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Sun card. We have the Six of Pentacles. Let me get one more, please. So definitely going towards brighter things. Uh, Knight of Cups is the third one that comes out. Um, going towards something that's bringing you more of a balance to where it doesn't feel like something was balanced, you know, before. It just feels like something was kind of off. Um, you know, or this could be like getting the, you know, the helping hand that you kind of need to be led into the right direction. You know, whatever the case is, um, with this Knight of Cups, it's also stopping to kind of take in the scenery, um, drink from your own cup before you offer it to somebody else. Really kind of figure out what you, what you want and who you are along the way. It's like almost doing some soul searching in a way. Um, but yeah, definitely going towards, like I said, something else, something better, um, brighter days, something happier, some kind of abundance. Um, seeing things a lot more clearly is what I keep getting. All right. Yeah, it just kind of feels like you're, you're kind of done with the situation here, Aries. You just, you want to focus on you and you just want to move forward. Um, it feels like you do have some kind of goal here that you have in mind that you are looking to achieve. All right. So the queen of swords, we have the 10 of cups. We have the death card. Oops. And then we have the Three of Cups. Um, so this is really kind of saying, you know, again, stepping into your power, realizing your worth, um, realizing your own happiness, your own abundance, it all lies within you. The Death card is really kind of saying, you know, something's just kind of done and over. You know, you just, you want to put it to rest and you want to move forward. You want to move on. With this Three of Cups, this is about celebrating. This is about, um, I keep getting like, you know, freedom. <laughs> Um, but I keep getting, like I said, you going towards some kind of goal, you know, really kind of doing something for yourself, putting yourself first and really just kind of focusing on, like I said, some kind of celebration. This feels like really good. This feels like you're headed in the right direction. And that's really, really important for you, Aries. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the nine of wands, please. All right, so the Nine of Wands, we have the Tower card, we have the Ace of Swords, and we have the Three of Wands. Okay, so yeah, um, it just feels like, you know, like I said, you had your guards up. Somebody's still kind of, you know, getting through. There's, you know, still kind of like some kind of sneakiness here. Um, feels like you were kind of, you know, hurt, you know, within a per particular situation, relationship. You know, keep in mind, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could be any type of situationship that this is resonating with, you know, family, friend, um, whatever the case is. But it does feel like after this tower card here, it's like, you know, it crumbles everything that, you know, you've known. It crumbles that faulty foundation to where you are able to see things a lot more clearer. You know, you're able to kind of communicate clearly. You're able to really see what it is that you want. And this new opportunity that you've been waiting for to arrive is definitely going to be here soon. So, yeah, I just, I feel like you're releasing something here. All right, with the Six of Swords, let's clarify that, please. So we have the King of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups, and see, we have that Star card. Um, so yeah, so the King of Wands, this is taking action. Um, you know, the Seven of Cups, you know, that's some kind of, you know, confusion. You know, am I making the right decision? There's some kind of, it feels like somebody who's almost kind of being greedy or some, you know, kind of selfish within this situation. And that's just what you're trying to kind of get rid of. You're trying to kind of, you know, like get away from in a way. Um, again, 
see how they're going towards that star and then you get the star card so you are definitely going towards some kind of wish fulfillment here you're going towards healing you're going towards like I said focusing on you focusing on your goals all right let's clarify the three of swords So we have the Page of Swords, we have the Page of Wands, and we have Judgment. Then we have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Okay. Hmm. So it does feel like there's something kind of sneaky coming through. It does feel like um, somebody could be coming in with some kind of information that is not the best. Um... But it's like you do see things clearly. You see things for kind of what they are. With judgment, it kind of feels like you're giving yourself the second chance. There's kind of some unfinished business. Maybe there's something you need to say to this person, kind of, you know, close things up to be able to kind of fully walk away. Um, because it does feel like you're kind of undecided. You're kind of juggling the situation on, do I want to get on this boat and leave? Or do I want to wait till the next opportunity? Do I want to stay here? Like, what do I want to do? It does feel like you're kind of juggling that, you know, and you are making this decision. Again, this could involve a third party, um, whether it's a person or just, you know, some other kind of third energy and involved. Um, it, I am picking up, like I said, a third party here. So definitely some decisions to be made. But like I said, it does feel like you are more focused on going towards your own healing, going towards your own wish fulfillment, which, you know, that's good. All right, let's get some love. Okay. So right away we get retreat. So retreat, um, it's time to kind of disconnect from the world. Yeah, I do feel like it is time for you to kind of pull back, you know, kind of take your power back. Um, really kind of focus on you. Like I said, focus on your own goals. Um, again, I am feeling kind of like a bit of um, a third-party energy. Um, could be some kind of deceptiveness, something along the lines in a situation here. And then on the bottom of the deck, we do have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I do feel like, remember when I said you're getting some kind of signs or something? I do feel like you are getting, you know, you're, you're getting these signs to kind of say, hey, you know, this is a red flag. Like, pay attention to this. You know, something's not really right in this. And I can feel like you feel that too, Aries. All right, let's get some other oracle cards here for Aries please okay what does Aries need to know please any advice or anything else Aries needs to know? Oh, okay. Hold on, dropped a card. Okay, so we have friend zone. So still friends, just friends. Someone like someone else only as a friend and not relationship material. All right, um, with this and... <laughs> Um, I'm kind of getting that this could be kind of a friend that's the third party that's kind of hanging out kind of within your relationship, um, maybe getting a little too cozy. Um, so, you know, maybe just kind of keep an eye on that. Or maybe you already feel that. Maybe you already kind of sense that. But, you know, if that's the case, you know, this friend definitely is not a friend. Just feels like I said there's some kind of deceptiveness here. Okay, then we have inner work. So heal yourself first. You'll attract what you are. Choose partners that want to grow with you. Yeah, because I'm kind of getting like this person. Um, this person just isn't in it yet. Yeah, bottom of the deck. As I'm saying that, we get playing the field. So still meeting, dating other people, seeing each other, being a player, games being played. Games being played is like the biggest uh, message I'm getting with this particular card. Um, again, it just kind of feels like, feels like somebody's just still wanting to play games or they are playing games and it's just like somebody's heart is really on the line here and I think you can kind of feel it.
Okay. One wanted to jump. Okay, so I know I messed up everything. All right, so this could be somebody's feelings. Um, you know, again, take it how it resonates. But somebody knows they've messed something up here. Like I said, it feels like there has been some kind of deceptiveness within the situation. It's almost like somebody kind of likes the attention, though. Um, and the reason I say that is because of this particular card. See how she's just kind of sitting in the middle, hands down, but, you know, her the blindfolds, like, you know, covering her eyes. There's two guys there drawn, you know, their swords. Um, just kind of feels like this person kind of likes the attention. Because it's like, you know, I'm just going to pretend like I don't even see this. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to let you all, like, you know, figure it out. So, again, just kind of, you know, be wary of that. Like I said, pay attention to the red flags. Um, then we do have, I'm feeling so confused right now. I'm trying to make sense of all this. Yeah, Aries, this is kind of what I'm feeling like on your part. Um, it's just that somebody's really confused, just trying to kind of make sense of, you know, this situation of what's going on. Um, you know, is this friend really my friend? Is this, you know... Like, are you cheating on me? Like, what's the case here? Um, again, I do feel like somebody's just trying to make sense of everything that's going on in the situation. So, yeah. But, all right, well, Aries, that is what I have for you. So I do hope this helps, gives you some kind of clarity or enlightenment. Um, but, you know, again, thank you for stopping by. And until next time, take care.